Hello, welcome back to the channel on the 4th of July. A bit of Liverpool news this morning. Kefran Saram is no longer a Liverpool prospect. I'm glad we're not going in for him. I want Lavia. This, if anything, is going to push the Lavia signing even more so. And a defensive signing was all we needed. Call me greedy. Call me whatever you want to call me because we've signed Sabozalai, we've signed McAllister, two midfielders, and you're saying, what, George, you want another? You want one more? Yeah, I do. I want a defensive signing. A Lavia fits a lot of... We'll talk about Saram first. Saram ticked a lot of boxes in terms of his energy. He fit the Klopp kind of ethos very well. He was a very hard-working player. He was a very tall build as well. I think he was six foot three, six foot four odd. He was only young, tw mid early twenties, sorry. And he reminds me of a kind of Fabinho build or an Emre Chan. I called him in terms of that, like you can't you shrug him off the ball. You can't get him off the ball. And he's a very dangerous player when he does get on the ball. In terms of progressing through the thirds, he was very good. A very powerful traveller. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Obviously not that good, but in terms of a similarity, getting the ball, pace and power, and driving through defences, his technical abilities, like in terms of his turns and stuff, were pretty incredible, considering he's only a young player, and he's only had the chances in France to develop at, um, I believe, Nice. So he's not getting the most output in the world at Nice, but he's shown what he can do. We've pulled out of the signing because I think something fell down. We've not officially pulled out, but it's a pretty reliable source. Um, it just shows more interest in Lavia, it, it does, it cements that interest and a defensive signing is what we needed. As I said before, call me greedy, but with Fabinho massively declining over the last few years and Trent being that defensively naive player we all know he is, we need someone in there. And you might think it's quite contradictory bringing in a naive player, a 19-year-old Lavia, but on the contrary, he's proven it in the Premier League before, in a struggling Southampton side. He was one of the main stars, one of the main breakout stars in that Southampton side last year. Playing in that double pivot, I hate that word because it just sounds posh, in that double midfielder role with James Ward-Prowse. So that's going to be a really smooth transition for him, I think, playing with maybe a Fabinho in there, or a McAllister, or a Trent even, in that two in the midfield, which we ended last season with. So the transition should be really smooth. I spoke about Madison going to Spurs. That transition should be really smooth. They're playing with the same kind of system with one behind the striker at Spurs. Same as Leicester. He's, you know, he's already played in the league before. That's a massive, massive thing. And when you're comparing two players side by side, you've got to look at experience. Albeit they're only teenagers, these lads. He's played in the Premier League for a year. He hasn't. And the French League, let's say, isn't the most competitive league in the world, is it? But Lavia, and we need to get this over the line. I mean, Arsenal were in for him as well. That's what's gone awfully quiet. I think when um, when Rice kind of picked up, the Lavia deal went down, which is good for us, of course. Um, but let me know what you think. Let me know if you think Lavia is a good signing. Let me know if you think we're missing out on Kefran Turam. I think next season's always a, a possibility with Turam. Um, but I think in terms of getting the deal over the line, a lot of Southampton ties as well with Liverpool. Lallana, Klein, Mane, Van Dijk, Ricky Lambert, um, who am I missing? It's a little quiz question for you. How many Southampton players can you name? Um, Lovren, there's one as well. I'll, I'll think of some more. But yeah, massive. It does help, doesn't it? With a good relationship between clubs. I think we'll get it over. I really think we'll get it over. And that fab tweet yesterday from Fabrizio Romano got me really excited. It just said, Belgium Arrow LFC. I said I tweeted out that could be the most significant tweet from Fabinho... F F was it? F Fabrizio R Romano he's ever done. I was going to call him Fabinho Romero then. He played for like he plays in Portugal. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if you want Lavia in this team. Thank you. If you enjoyed anything I said, or if you agreed with anything I said, leave a like and subscribe. Bosh. And also follow me on Twitter. I was going to end that. Um, I'm on Twitter, so follow me on there. Instagram as well. All the works. Go and get involved. And obviously TikTok, but you might have come from there. So thank you.